Hello and welcome back to another video of this email automation series. In this video, we will see how to send bulk email from Excel with dynamic template. When I say dynamic template, it means value in the template that would be changed by variable values like customer name, order number, delivery date and mail ID as well. If you like the content of this video, so please hit the like button. One like is a big support for our YouTube channel and subscribe my channel for more video. Go ahead and let's start the video. Here I first I create a flow, click on new and give the name. Click on create. First action I am taking here. Retext file. This is a template basically. Uh, give the location and I want to change this name like template. Okay. Second action I am taking. That variable here give the name as an email ID. This is my email ID. Click on save. Here I am taking launch launch Excel. All data are in the Excel sheet. So here I am using Excel as well. Customer, customer details. This is the our Excel. Click on save. Read Excel sheet. Read from Excel worksheet. Start column. Start column is one. Our row is one. For end column and for end row. I will use first free row or column. Okay. First free column row. So don't worry about this error. First I take get first free this one above here. And you can see first free column, first free row. Okay, click on save. From read from Excel sheet and go to add it. And here, here I'm using first free column, and here I'm using also first free row. But here, uh, go to advance and enable this uh, first line of range contain column names minus one i'm using here for first is our adder click on save next one i'm taking here launch outlook drag and drop here click on save next i'm using here for each loop Read all data. So give the Excel sheet, Excel data here. And this is the, I want to change this variable as a customer. Okay. Click on save. One more thing where I am using close Excel as well. Up here, take and drag and drop here. Out of this uh, for each loop. see this is my excel sheet and this is the data basically so this is the customer name email id and order number and date as well so i'm using this excel data okay this is my template so first i want to replace this zero as a customer name okay i'm using here replace text 
they can drag and drop under this for each loop okay and text to press and uh, so here i'm using template our template is here which number i want to change this uh, so here i have to use curly braces and zero zero value i want to change with i show you uh, customer this is the excel basically but here i have to give the column name as well so go to the excel this is the customer name column so i have to copy this and paste it over here here you can see variable produce is replaced first replace output okay so next next time we will use this variable click on save again for order number again i am taking replace text take and drag and drop here and now this time i am using that variable that that return first replace this one replaced okay uh, which value i want to change first curly braces and i want to change first value replaced by so that time customer and that time you can see we have to take the like order number okay so uh, this is the order number column copy and paste in this first you have to take square bracket and single colon and paste under this single colon okay uh, save i have to change format so i'm taking convert convert date date time as a text okay take and drag and drop here so i want to change this excel column square bracket single colon and which column i want to change this delivery date so copy this value and paste here okay and i have i want to change this custom and date as a mm i change the format mmdd yy okay and this is the uh, our output of this action so format date time okay again i am taking replace text for delivery date okay so this time i am using here replaced two and which value uh, here i want to change here i want to change to number value here you can see this one delivered uh, delivered uh, successfully on so here i want date so i'm taking date this one and here customer excel and this is the column name okay and variable produce na replaced 3 okay click on save again i we have to take replace for email id take and drag and drop here and this time we have to use replace 3 okay replace 3 and here i want to change the third values replaced with customer and here i have to give the email id column so this one okay copy and drag and drop oh sorry paste and copy and paste here and you can see last Variable is uh, replaced four. Okay, 
this is the la fourth or last replaced so here you can see replace the uh, variable produced and replaced four so we will use when sending email okay so we will use this variable click on see i have to check so here i am using display message or data i want to see data so okay paste four so let's test first then after we will send the email little time customer name replaced or number replaced and date as well and but here you can see but some format also there so we have to uh, handle it okay and this is the customer email id okay yes second third and the fourth okay so is Here I am taking send email is open. Take and drag, drag and drop under this body tube. Here I am using email email ID. Here also I am using email ID. Click on this variable email open. Here I'm be subject as a as a order status status. Now I'm using here replaced code uh, variable. This one click on save for date format. I have to change here. Go to the replace second and so here I have I'm using here formatted date that's why did not come properly okay on see now now test done now see date is come properly okay the first mail the second mail template this is the third mail template and last one this is the last close excel as well now we see in the outlook Here you can see now this is the notification. So here you can see time and here also same screen. Let's open and check. Open the our email template. This is the first one. This is again. Here you can see fourth, third, sorry. This is the third, and last one is fourth. Okay, and you can see here time as well. Workflow is ready. Hope you like the video. Please hit the like button if you like the content of this video, and subscribe my channel for more video. I will see you in the next video of this series. Till then, happy learning.